This is going to be the general information maintenance concept and introduction to the T700 GE701 Delta and Charlie turboshaft engines. You're going to learn about the operation and location of the power plant system components and their modular maintenance concepts. There are two general electric T700 GE701 Delta turboshaft engines that are used as the primary power plant. The T700 GE701 Delta is a front drive turboshaft with a single spool gas generator section, a low fuel pressure through flow annular combustion chamber, and a freewheeling power turbine. The engine incorporates a modular design that minimizes the time required to perform maintenance on individual models or module subsystems and components. The single spool gas generator section consists of a five stage axial single stage centrifugal compressor and a two stage high pressure turbine. The high pressure turbine drives the compressor. The single spool gas generator rotates clockwise as a single rotating group on a common shaft. The through flow annular combustion chamber design allows the hot expanding gases to pass through the chamber without a change in direction. The chamber is cooled by a film of air on the inner and outer walls and by air striking the chamber. This design reduces the amount of cooling air mixed with the hot gas stream. The power turbine is an independent two-stage uncooled axial flow low pressure turbine. The power turbine rotation is induced by high pressure air exiting the gas generator and then being directed aft to the power turbine rotors via stators. The power turbine rotors are attached to a drive shaft that extends forward through the gas generator spool and is coupled to an output shaft assembly. Under the modular maintenance concept, the turboshaft engine is divided into four modules. Your cold, hot, power turbine, and accessory. The engine can be disassembled into the four modules. There are no special tools required to disassemble and assemble the engine at AVM, AVM levels of maintenance. The manufacturer is GE Aircraft Engines, Lynn. Models, you got your T700 GE 701s, T700 GE 701 Charlies, and the T700 GE 701 Deltas. The type of engine is a turboshaft. Your type of compressor is a combined axial centrifugal. Your number of compressor stages are six. All clocked positions referenced in the engine manual and in this training are as viewed from the aft of the engine looking forward, unless otherwise noted. In order to identify certain locations and parameters for temperature and pressure in the engine, a station designation system is utilized to coincide with various parts locations for easy recognition. Established station designations and examples of engine parameters are identified on the T700 GE701 Delta engine depicted here below. Station 1 is the swirl frame inlet. Station 2 is the compressor inlet, leading edge of the compressor inlet guide vanes. The engine station 2 is the location of the inlet air temperature used by the fuel metering systems to compensate for changes in air temperature, also referred to as T2, temperature at station 2. Station 3 is the compressor discharge, the trailing edge of compressors the sixth stage. Engine station 3 is the location of the pressure tap used to obtain compressor discharge air, also referred as P3 air pressure at station 3. Stage 4 is the gas generator turbine, first stage nozzle assembly leading edge. Station 4.5 is the gas generator turbine, second stage rotor discharge. Station 4.5 is the location of the thermocouple harness assembly and the probes, which measures turbine gas temperature, TGT, also referred to as T4.5 temperature at station 4.5. Station 5 is the exhaust frame leading edge, the power turbine trailing edge. The rotational speed of the engine is represented by the capital letter N. The speed of the first rotating mass, the gas generator turbine, is represented by the letter NG. The speed of the second rotating mass, the power turbine, is represented by the letter NP. The engine has several line replaceable units or LRUs. LRU is a part which can be removed and replaced at AVM level with another like part. The engine's LRUs are divided into five functional groups. Accessory section module, fuel system, 
electrical system, oil systems, and air systems. The accessory section modules LRUs are the radial drive shaft assembly, access cover, and the particle separator blower. The fuel systems LRUs are the fuel boost pump, hydromechanical control unit, or HMU, the overspeed and drain valve, the ODV, the fuel pressure sensor, and the fuel filter. The electrical systems LRUs are the alternator stator, thermal couple assembly, the MP sensor, igniter plug, igniter lead, the blue electrical cable, and the green electrical cable, the history counter, exciter assembly, digital electronic control, the DEC, igniter lead, igniter plug, torque and overspeed sensor, and the yellow electrical cable. Oil systems LRUs are the oil temperature sensor, oil filter bypass sensor, electrical chip detector, oil cooler, oil filter, oil and scavenge pump with scavenge screens, oil pressure sensor. The air system LRU is the anti-icing bleed and start valve. So we've gotten through the basics of the T700 GE701s. At this point you need to go through the following sections. Under T700 GE701 Delta engine description and data, you need to complete the power plant modules, engine fuel system, engine electrical system, engine oil system, and engine air system. Once those are completed, you'll complete the T700 GE701 Delta engine maintenance procedures for or replacing the engine assembly, replace hydromechanical unit, replace engine fuel filler, filter, replace engine electrical chip detector, replace inlet particle separator blower, and replace the starter.